Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics Goli. So in this video, we are going to solve a question from telescopic product and limits. Let us see what is the question. The question is on telescopic product and you will find that uh, ITJ advanced me especially, there are certain questions in which we need to use this telescopic product to proceed in the question. It might not be the pure question of telescopic product. Mostly limits ke question mein you will find ke telescopic product ko combine karke the questions are framed. So let us see how we are going to solve the question. Kya karenge sabse pehle to question mein evaluate this product hai, continued product from 3 to infinity hai. Normally whenever you see this type of question, every time the approach is going to be similar. What you will have to do? First of all, you will have to write nth term once again properly. So I'm starting with the nth term. As you can see, numerator say I can take one n ka factor common and will be left out with n square plus 3 ka whole square. Regarding denominator, you have n cube ka square minus 8 square. Yani denominator hum kya lik sakte hain? n cube plus 8, n cube minus 8. Actually, we just try to create similar kind of factors in the numerator and denominator. Similar factors aayenge to terms cancel bhi ho sakti hai. But right now, though, I cannot see any similar factor in the numerator as well as in the denominator. Okay, our numerator denominator ko milakar koi common factor to nahi dikh raha. Doesn't matter. You proceed. You just write it like n square plus three and one more n square plus three. Coming to denominator, I can factorize it further. That's why I'm going to write n plus two and n minus two from here. Again, n plus two ke jo leftover factors hain, wo dekh lete hain. So another factor n square plus 2n plus 4. So these are the four factors of the denominator. Now what did I tell you? What you have to do normally these type of questions mein ekhi technique hota hai. Ki aapko pehle sabse pehle tn ko likhna hota hai properly. So I have written properly means no further reduction in the terms can be over here. Ya koi further factorization bhi nahi possible hai. Next step is you split all these factors. You know, aap isse as a product of factors likhna shuru karo. Numerator, denominator ko combine karke. Like I'm going to write n square upon n plus 2. So n square ko likha n upon n plus 2. Second one is n upon n minus 2. So notice the numerator and the denominator. Here there is a difference of 2. Here there is a difference of 2. That means individually when you will be taking the product of this kind of term, numerator, denominator mein 100% the terms are going to cancel each other. Right? Let us come to the next term now. Now we have n square plus 3. So regarding n square plus 3 coming to the denominator, look at this term. Can I write it as n minus 1 ka whole square plus 3? A similar kind of term, numerator and denominator may for itself itna hai ki you have replaced n with n minus 1 in the denominator. And now the leftover term. One more n square plus 3 coming to the denominator, it will be n plus 1 ka whole square plus 3. Okay, this is what we can write in the denominator. So, which kind of symmetry you notice kar rahe ho in the factors or in the terms that we have in the numerator and denominator. I split it into factors. Four factors possible the, so four banana. Kai baar three factors hote hain. Sometimes you get only two types of factors or two factors. Combining the numerator and denominator. How we have combined numerator and denominator terms? I have combined it, keeping in mind that some kind of symmetry should be there in the numerator as well as in the denominator. So, here two ka difference hai, two ka difference hai. Similar term, similar term. Now I'll start with the continued product. Kahan tak jana hai? Up to infinity jana hai. But normally what we do, we start with 3 and go till capital N. After that we take limit n tends to infinity. So taking pi of Tn actually gives me pi n is equals to 3 to capital N. N upon n plus 2. Then second product separately. N upon n minus 2. Then we will come to the third product. This will be continued product from 3 to capital N, numerator n square plus 3, denominator n minus 1 ka whole square plus 3. And then we have the last one by n is equals to 3 to capital N, n square plus 3 divided by n plus 1 ka square plus 3. Right? This is what we will be getting. Abhi agla step kya? Ab hum n ko 3, 4, 5, 6 likna show karenge. 3, 4, 5, 6 likhenge to first of all, let us solve this one. Is mein aata hai sabse pehle n ko 3 likha, 3 upon 5, 4 likha, to 4 upon 6. Then I am going to write here, uh, n is equals to 3, 4, now 5. 5 ka matlab ye kitna ho jayega? 7. Sorry, numerator is 5. 
अपॉन सेवन सो यू कैन सी दैट टर्म्स हैव स्टार्टेड कैंसिलिंग ईच अदर बट क्योंकि दो टर्म्स के बाद कैंसिलेशन स्टार्ट हुआ है आई विल बी राइटिंग डाउन द लास्ट टू टर्म्स दैट मीन्स रिप्लेसिंग एन विद एन माइनस वन एंड देन कीपिंग एन इज इक्वल टू कैपिटल एन Similarly, coming to the second continued product, I started with three, so three upon three minus two. Then it will become four upon two. Then it will become five upon three. Same story. The terms started getting cancelled after two terms. So just write down the last two terms. It will become n minus one upon n minus three, and the last term now you can write is n upon n minus two. Now coming to the third bracket, third continued product. लिखते हैं n को start किया three से So when you write n is equals to three, it will become three ka square nine plus three that is twelve divided by three minus one ka square. Three minus one ka square means now you can see that what we are going to get here is three minus one ka square is two ka square uh, that is four and plus three that is seven. Now I'll keep n is equals to four. When you keep n is equals to four, it will become four ka square sixteen plus three, but denominator will become थ्री का स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री ट्वेल्व यहाँ तो पहली टर्म दैट मीन्स फ्रॉम द सेकंड टर्म ऑनवर्ड्स वी आर गेटिंग टर्म्स व्हिच आर सिमिलर दे विल स्टार्ट गेटिंग कैंसिल्ड सीधे लास्ट टर्म पर चले जाइए इट विल बिकम एन स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री अपॉन एन माइनस वन का स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री एंड द लास्ट ब्रेकेट स्टार्टेड विद एन इज इक्वल्स टू थ्री सो वंस अगेन थ्री का स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री गिवस मी ट्वेल्व बट डिनोमिनेटर थ्री प्लस वन का होल स्क्वेयर सिक्सटीन प्लस थ्री ओके नाउ इल कीप एन इज इक्वल्स टू फोर फोर लिखेंगे तो नाउ इट विल बिकम फोर स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री यानी नाइनटीन अपॉन फाइव स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री तो ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस थ्री सेकेंड टर्म ऑनवर्ड्स टर्म्स ने कैंसिल होना शुरू कर दिया है दैट्स व्हाई एम गोइंग डायरेक्टली टू द एन एथ टर्म ठीक है हमने सीधे लास्ट टर्म को लिख दिया अब इस कंटिन्यू प्रोडक्ट को सिंप्लीफाई करना शुरू करते हैं यानी पहले फर्स्ट ब्रेकेट की बात करते हैं तो फाइव गॉट कैंसिल सिक्स विल बी कैंसिल्ड एंड सो ऑन Second factor n into n minus one divided by one into two. The third bracket reduces to n square plus three upon seven. And the fourth bracket, fourth bracket में हमारे पास क्या बच रहा है? Fourth bracket में we are left out with twelve divided by n plus one का whole square plus three. This is the product up to n terms. We have taken the product of n terms till now, but what we need in the question is the product of infinite terms. कैसे निकालेंगे इन फाइनाइट टर्म्स के लिए नाउ आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू पुट लिमिट एन टेंस टू इंफिनिटी इन दिस प्रोडक्ट अब इस प्रोडक्ट को सॉल्व कर लेते हैं एक बार चेक करते हैं हमारे पास क्या रहा है दिस विल बिकम ट्वेल्थ तो ये सिक्स हो जाता है दिस इज सेवेंटी टू बाय सेवन देन वी हैव एन एन माइनस वन इन टू एन स्क्वेयर प्लस थ्री दिस इज दूमरेटर डिनोमिनेटर एन प्लस वन इन टू एन प्लस टू दिस इज एन प्लस वन का Whole square plus three. <clears throat> so numerator is a polynomial. Denominator is a polynomial. The degree of numerator is four. The degree of denominator is four. Same degree. So answer comes as leading coefficient upon leading coefficient. So I am just going to write down the leading coefficient of the numerator upon leading coefficient of the denominator. Yani ultimately the answer turns out to be seventy two by seven. So let us bring an end to the video here. Please like the video and don't forget to share it with your friends and fellow aspirants. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.